I'm just gluing them up so that they stay in place while I'm laminating them. But here's the outfit for today. I am in pants. I am hot right now, but you guys, I was trying to wait until like next week, <laughs> but my nail just broke. <laughs> space really quick here because I am laminating my brows just been having like a chill Sunday morning I took Leo on a little mini hike I didn't want to go too far because it's hot obviously or it's, it was getting hot oh, I have two kits in here Let's see which one's newer about the time that we went on our I, I should call it a hike we, we just went on some trails i guess that they're hiking trails but we didn't go deep but at the time that we were out there it was only like 73 74 degrees and i was just like being really cognizant of the fact that it was just gonna get hotter so i only took him on the trails for like maybe 15 minutes one way and then we went straight back but i am limiting my brows i'm trying to see which set is newer and then i have a set upstairs you guys i have so many of these brow lamination sets just strewn all over the house it's ridiculous i'm gonna go with the one that looks a little bit older just to finish it out should get the saran wrap ready i've been needing to eliminate my brows so bad but they're probably about two weeks overdue at this point which is fine like, i don't mind giving them a break because obviously this is like pretty heavy chemicals that go on your brows for this but i've just been getting annoyed with the fact that they're not staying up so we're gonna do this and like i'm kind of like racing against the clock here because i want to work out tomorrow and you have to wait 24 hours until you can like work out and really like heavy sweat i think going to the gym about 2 30 tomorrow is good right now it's 2 20 so these will be good as far as like timing goes i'm just gluing them up so that they stay in place while i'm laminating them it's been a while since like i walked through my brow lamination process with you guys on a vlog but I'm just gonna spoolie them so that they're standing up i want to make sure i get everything but as i've been saying the last couple vlogs because we are in the middle of a vlog week if you're new here this is my first vlog week i do vlogmas every year but this is like my first vlog week independent of vlogmas i've had a pretty eventful vlog week so far so if you haven't caught up on them subscribe and then check out the last couple days step one which is actually not let me glue both brows up that would be the better option that way I don't waste time in between. I don't want one brow to process more than the other. And for those who are new, the brow lamination kit I use is the Ariana brow kit. And it's so, so good. Like, it gives me salon level results. I stopped going to a salon because also, too, it's like 80 bucks per session. So every, like, six weeks. when I could do it at home. And I honestly feel like with this kit, it's just as good. Very, very important the tool for spreading this i don't use the brushes that come in the kit i actually i mean i could probably run and get like a little mini spatula which would probably be better than this but i actually just go ahead and use my blemish tool i have like a few of these and i just designated this one to brow lamination okay I'm making sure i'm using the correct step right now but yeah i dedicated this one to brow lamination so i don't use this on my blemishes anymore 
not cross contaminating but it just scoops up so much more product and lays it down so much better than the little brushes that come in the kit so either if you have one of those like little mini spatulas for skincare or one of these that's gonna work so much better and the results are a lot better when you do this instead of the little brushes that come in here i promise okay that's one brow i like to make sure it's saturated just like that and the other brow okay i think this kit is done after this so that was a good call to use this kit because this is almost out. I'm like scraping at it. Hopefully it's still potent enough. But if you didn't read the title or haven't been watching the other vlogs, we are heading to the OC Fair again today. This will be my fourth time at the OC Fair. I thought the last one when we went to go see Neo was the last time. Nope, Trevor wanted to go again and then our friends wanted to go again. So another OC Fair trip. I'm just gonna put Saran Wrap right on top. Push my brow hairs up and then press them flat make sure everything gets saturated and then i'm gonna set a timer this stuff's a little bit older so i'm actually gonna set it for eight minutes but yeah i've been to the fair four times this year but this is actually the last day of the fair so for sure there's no way i'm going again absolutely not and it's funny like trevor texted me he's like do you want to get pizza so that we don't eat too much at the fair and i was like do you not know me? Like that is what I go to the fair for. Of course I'm gonna eat. I just wanted like a light breakfast today. And he was like, oh, I thought since you've been like three other times that you wouldn't really want to eat that much. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I'm gonna do an encore of at least one thing that I really wanted. And then there was a drink that I haven't gotten the last couple times because I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm gonna finally get that. They have like agua frescas and I really, really want one. It sounds really, really refreshing. And then it's been a long time since I got deep fried Oreos because I switched over to deep fried cookie dough. So it's been years since I got deep fried Oreos. So I'm thinking about that. Not entirely sure. I always see people rave about Kathy's cookies. Maybe I'll get that. Again, not sure. I feel like I'm just gonna play it more by ear this time when I get there and just kind of like see what catches my eye. But yeah, I just tried to keep it lighter this morning. I finally tried that better bagel that I got from Whole Foods. It was like a couple weeks back. I, they're good, but they definitely don't taste like regular bagels. Like the taste of the bagel was a lot lighter. It's less flavorful. So I was definitely glad that I kind of like dressed it up with tomatoes and capers and cream cheese and more like everything seasoning. It definitely needed that. So it's not a bagel that I would do just bagel and cream cheese. Like that definitely needs to have stuff on it because the taste is like a little bit lacking, but it is definitely great because there's like 25 grams of protein. So I know that that's gonna keep me full for a while. I essentially had that as my brunch and it should keep me satisfied because I also had it with a protein coffee until we go to the fair. Like I wanted to keep it very, very light because since I'm just going like no list, just vibes at the fair, I don't know how much I'm gonna get there. So yeah, that is the plan for today and that's my thoughts on the better bagel. Like I said, it's good. I would give it like a six, uh, six is kinda low. I would give it a seven. I would give it a seven out of 10. Don't have it by itself, don't have it plain, but if you want like a bread that's gonna have a ton more protein, again, 25 grams of protein for that bagel alone, plus like the cream cheese I put on it. I, I just had a ton of protein. And, and then my protein coffee, I just had so much protein this morning. If you want a bread that's gonna like pack a lot of protein if you're like trying to sneak extra protein into your diet i think that that's definitely a good option one other drawback on it is that they are frozen so i didn't realize i should have let it thaw before i went on my hike i should have put one out and it would have been thawed by the time i got home so i had to throw it in the broiler for probably about 15 minutes and then like i cut it open and then toasted it in the broiler so just know it's not going to be a quick breakfast because you do need to defrost it but i would recommend it i would definitely get it again but like i said i would only use it like as like a sandwich or just like as a loaded bagel topped off with like a lot of other things because it does need some more flavor. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna let the perm on my brows process and then we'll come back to do step three, which is the fixation to kind of hold them in place and then let that process and after that we should be good. Eight minutes is up. Uh, I'm gonna peel this off and I'm just gonna put it down with the side I used facing up so that I know to flip it over for the second part. Oh, I need a paper towel. What am I doing? Wipe off step one. I remember one time when I was like laminating my brows and I wasn't paying attention, I like wet the paper towel in between each step. And then I realized after I was done and I was like, oh shoot. And then the brow lamination did not last very long. So 
dry paper towel people. You, you need to keep your brows dry. And yes, we are going to the fair, but we're going tonight. We're gonna get there at like six. We might go pregame at our friend's place, but we're gonna get to the fair at six. So it shouldn't be too hot. I shouldn't sweat too much at the fair. I just can't believe how much I've gone this year. It's insane. Like I said in previous vlogs, the last three years or so, I only went to the fair like once a year. Before that, I would sometimes go twice a year. This is definitely the most I've ever gone though. It was so freaking worth it for the Neo concert. That was so much fun. Like what a throwback. I'm so relieved to be laminating my brows. I've needed it so bad. They've been so stubborn. Like I have sparse brow hairs, but they're so straight and stubborn. They just do not want to cooperate unless they're laminated. And then I always think like, oh, they're not too bad. And then I'll go and laminate my brows. And I'm like, oh my God, they're so much better when they're laminated. Like I forget how good it is when they are laminated. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm actually gonna fully use the other side just so that I don't waste two pieces of plastic. The same thing, I'm gonna kind of push them up and press them flat. It's set for another eight minutes. And I'm gonna clean this up and then we should be done after that. Eight minutes is up. Let's reveal the brows. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, they're so much better now. I'm like legitimately relieved. No more stubborn brow hairs. If I want them to stay up, they will stay up. I'm just taking a clean spoolie just to finish them out and then a little bit of this nutrition oil that they send. You can also use castor oil and stuff if this like runs out, but you definitely want to put some oil in your brows after laminating them because it dries them out like crazy, which is why you're supposed to wait about six weeks to redo them, FYI. So if you're thinking about getting on the brow lamination train, just know that you have to wait six weeks. I mean, I've been impatient before and I've done it at the five week mark, but I try to be good about that. Brows are laminated and they feel so much better. So I may or may not, and by may or may not, I mean I did get ready for the fair like two hours early. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I'm not doing anything. Might as well. That way I don't have to stress, but just did very, very natural, simple, easy makeup. Nothing anything crazy. And then I took my hair out of the French braid that I had it in. Again, perfect waves. But here's the outfit for today. I am in pants. I am hot right now, but we're going at six, so it should just get cooler and cooler throughout the day. So I have on my parachute pants from White Fox. I love these. I want to get these in another color or just like maybe a different pair from a different brand just to switch it up. But I'm obsessed with these pants. I was like off them for a little while, but then I remembered these and I was like, those would be nice to wear. And then tube top is from Abercrombie. I don't know if they still have this. I know I got it on sale like a while back, so they probably don't have it anymore, but there's a ton of like basic black tube tops out there like this. I'm gonna do my Nike Air Forces and then today I'm just gonna do a little crossbody bum bag. This is the dupe for the Louis Vuitton one from DHgate and then just my Louis Vuitton lock necklace but yeah already ready for the fair because I had nothing better to do than just get ready. So Trevor just told me after I got ready that we're actually meeting up for the fair at 6 30 so my timing just <laughs> was great but hey there's no way I'm gonna be late today so that's the good news. You guys, I was trying to wait until like next week, <laughs> but my nail just broke. on OC fair visits. <laughs> oh my god. My feet are so tired and I was trying to figure out Mine why. Too. Yeah, we were trying to figure out why we were so tired and we remembered yesterday was Wild Rivers. So we did like six miles. Oh my god. 
We were at Wild Rivers from like 11 to 6. 6. Yeah. Non-stop. Non-stop, just walking. Except for and our lunch, but that was an hour. Yeah. Walking and climbing stairs the whole day. Fighting off kids. Yeah. And then today, we just did OC Fair and we were walking around the fair. We probably circled the fair the equivalent to like two Twice. times. Yeah. It was fun. But my feet and legs the company are just, was fun, yeah. Yeah. My feet and legs are just, they're done. Like, I want to put them up and call it a night. 